So for the for your fan been following Under Run Roof and Rock Haven, mm -hmm. what can they expect? Um, I think they can expect um, a slightly more um, mature film with more mature themes. Like not that the other themes are because the other main characters were younger. You know, like we had an 18 year old in Rock Haven. We had. A early 20s guy and under one roof and still coming to terms with his identity as uh, with his family and stuff like this in Redwoods it's not that at all this our, our main characters they have no compunctions about their sexuality and the people around them the families know all about it there's no secrets about there's no one being oppressed by their sexuality or something like the conflict comes in in the heart and you know like what to do and, and in the family you know like and I think those are universal too and you know a lot of straight up people have seen this in the test groups and they can relate to these themes too because straight people go through this you know like straight people don't necessarily go through as much like conflict with religion and sexual identity they can somewhat relate but like but this, people, you know, falling in love and being in a rela another relationship and fidelity and ch kids and all of this, straight people can relate to that. They understand that very well, you know. It's like, just like the, the Brookback Mountain, although it's really a gay theme, but um, I think straight people can relate it to that too. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, like, um, and, you know, Brookback Mountain is uh, almost the implosion of a family, you know, like right. it's just... Right. and the collateral damage that occurs because of this. Um, and they're very oppressed characters. These characters are living in a place where it's just, their sexuality is a threat to their lives, mm -hmm. let alone to their, how they get along with their families. You know? In Redwoods, their sexuality is not a threat to anyone. You know? It's very open. It's like no big deal. It's like, they, these are characters who happen to be gay, who get into this situation and you know um, and that's what I would tell uh, people who've watched the first two films to expect um, you know more mature themes and um, because we're maturing as a community and 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 I think that's really exciting to tell stories like that uh, any sex you know, there uh, we do have a sex scene, and I think it's um, it's it's quite different from the other two. It's um, it's in real time. It's it's um, you know ferocious. I mean, you know, I think it's they're ripping each other's clothes <laughs> off, and you know, like it's just falling on the floor, and you know, uh -huh. um, quite different from um, Rock Haven, which is very central and slow, and right, right. Um, this one is much different. And um, I mean, there are naked people in the film. I think I always have naked film people in my film. I think I like that, and it's just because I think it's great. I think it's beautiful, and nothing to be ashamed of. And Americans are kind of funny with that, you know. Like, I mean, I could have people getting beheaded, and no one would even blink an eye. And then there's someone naked, and then people are going, "Well, why'd you have this?" Or what, you know, like. And that's just kind of. I guess that's a European in me. Yeah. I just think it's. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and um, I think it's great. And you know, it's just. I think that's a commonality in my work. Now I know Russian River does not have ocean or waves. <laughs> So would we be expecting to see a lot of rivers? You're going to see rivers. You're going to see incredible trees. And you have incredible scenery. And the redwoods are definitely a character in this, Sweet too. Thing. I don't think you're going to quite see as much, um, as long as sequences as you did in Rock Haven. With, mm -hmm. You know, the opening sequence of the ocean was like three minutes in Rock Haven. We don't have anything like that in the redwoods. But, you know, and so much of the scenes is scenes are happening outdoors so you know like as in Rock Haven we had a lot of quiet scenes where there weren't necessarily characters in the scenes that we just saw these beautiful vistas and stuff like that which mm -hmm. I thought was great but here we have characters in those vistas and they're interacting with each other and the vistas are in the background but you still get the full impact of the scenery and the trees and and the last few frames will definitely tell you why 
the redwoods are really important to the story. And, um, but I'll leave that for the viewers to find out when they watch it. By judging the tone of your voice, should I be bringing Kleenex with me to the theater? I think you might want to consider that, yes. I hope so. I hope so, yeah. It's, um, I think it's an, an emotional film, and I, um, I think it's a beautiful story, and the, the actors really um, hit it. And, you know, I hope people do have um, all kinds of feelings of happiness and a little sadness, and, um, and that they'll feel something. That sounds fantastic. Now, one good news is that my understanding is uh, for this movie, uh, TLA releases participated yes. financially. Yes, they participated up front um, and so are involved after Under One Roof and uh, Rock Haven decided to participate on the front end of the project, which really helped. And, um, and they'll, they'll distribute it. They have the worldwide rights to the film already. Um, even before it's been done, and so they've been seeing some of the rough cuts, and, and you know I keep them in prize, and that's kind of a little different because you have to like keep, mm. you know, I kind of worked in a vacuum in the other films and just did, but now that you have someone, you have various other producers involved on, I should say at least a distributor involved, they they need to see it in its various permutations as it develops, so. Well, I, I think you know, your fans will be very excited, and you are here, here, here first of the Redwood is coming your ways. Uh, so uh, I know I, this movie is still in production, and I try to get as much out of you as I, I can. So anything else that you can share with no, us? No, it's just um, it's a, always a pleasure to um, come visit with you, Bo, and I hope that like your audiences. Um, you know, I just really appreciate people who, the audience members really mean a lot to me. And you know, like, cause it's really, mm. we make these films for you and, and, and I hope you enjoy them. And, and if this helps get new people to, to watch the films, I think that'd be great. And people can experience that. And I just really appreciate the opportunity to be on here to talk about it. My pleasure, uh, do you have a uh, website uh, for the viewer to, yeah, to drop um, your lines, feedbacks. You can um, go to rockhavenmovie.com. Uh -huh. There's the redwoodsmovie.com um, are working. And so, um, yeah, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Well, come back and see us again after the movie release. I'd enjoy that. And we'd, we'd like to see, you know, uh, how the reaction of the movie and we can talk some more. That sounds great. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Bo. David.